हाई फ्रेंड्स राधिका रोडी कुमार यम सो इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल विल सी वॉट आर अनालिटिकल फंक्शंस सो अनालिटिकल फंक्शंस आर वेरी सिमिलर टू आर एग्रीगेट फंक्शंस वी माइट बी यूजिंग द एग्रीगेट फंक्शंस लाइक सम मैक्स मिन एन ऑल सो इट्स वेरी सिमिलर टू दैट वॉट हैपन्स वेन वी यूज अनालिटिकल फंक्शन इज इट इज़ कंप्यूटेड ऑन फॉर ईच एंड एवरी रिकॉर्ड ऑफ अ टेबल दैट इज इट्स एग्जीक्यूटेड वंस फॉर ईच एंड एवरी रिकॉर्ड इट्स नॉट लाइक एन एग्रीगेट फंक्शन विच विल जस्ट गिव अज अ रिजल्ट बेस्ड ऑन दी ग्रूप्स दैट इज द नंबर ऑफ रोज गेट रिड्यूज वेन एवर वी यूज द एग्रीगेट फंक्शन फॉर एग्जाम्पल लेट इज स्टार्ट विद एन एग्रीगेट फंक्शन इट सेल्फ हियर वेन आई से सेलेक्ट डिपार्टमेंट नंबर देन द एवरेज सैलरी आई एम टेकिंग द एवरेज सैलरी फ्रॉम द एम्प्लॉई टेबल then i'm grouping it by the department number and ordering by the department number when i say this you can see that based on the department number my uh, the salary average salary is getting uh, outputted but here you can see the number of rows are getting reduced when we are using analytical function this is not the case the number of rows doesn't get executed whereas it is computed for each and every record of the table let uh, let me write an um, example for analytical function so uh, i'm just going to say select employee number department number then the normal salary then the average salary okay this is my uh, then uh, always analytical function will come with the over clause after the analytical function you need to give an over clause whereas here i haven't given any over clause this is my normal aggregate function this is my analytical function so i'm going to give an over clause inside this over clause what i'm going to do is i'm going to say partition by department number i'll just give an uh, alias name for this i'll simply say something average salary okay then from employee table okay when i say this you can see the number of records are not getting reduced here the number of records are reduced for you know for overall in department 10 it's uh, showing the average salary here also the average salary is shown but even the uh, you know each and every record based on each and every record the the average salary is taken the number of records remains the same this is what the difference between the aggregate function and the um, analytical function there are a number of uh, aggregate function uh, sorry the analytical function that are available like um, the rank rank then the dense rank then we have uh, something called row number the row number is different from the row num which we use in our oracle then we have some more functions like um, lag lead first and last okay so these are the things in uh, analytical function so uh, the basic uh, syntax of the analytical function is uh we say we just give the same as aggregate function whereas whenever we give the analytical function that is we say Uh, some analytical function you are going to give here the some arguments okay this is the syntax of the uh, analytical function after giving the analytical function all these analytical function will come with an over clause as i said we say over then into this over uh, we have something called uh, analytical clause this uh, clause is further uh, you know um, get, you know breaks up into number of uh, things like um, we'll see what are those this over clause inside this over clause uh, you can give the partition query query then um, then you can even give the order by then inside this order by you there is something called um, windowing clause here you will be giving the range like between this to this like that so this is what is the uh, syntax of um, analytical function so we will take a few examples like uh, uh, based on this analytical function we'll see how, uh, how we can display uh, some 
the display the second employee from an employee table how we can do that we'll see so in order to you know uh, display the second employee of our table what we need to do is simply say select star from then just like an inline view only after the from we are uh, again writing a select statement so select again e name then the department number then i'm going to use the row num uh, analytical function here i'm going to say row number okay this row number i'm after using the row num the overall clause over then inside this over i'm going to say order by row id you must be knowing like what is row id and all so after this row id i'll just give an alias for this uh, entire uh, column okay i'm just going to say rn then after this i'll give an alias for this table x okay and i'm going to say where this x dot rn should be equal to 2 this is what my query i'm going to say select star from then this is an inline view query then inside the the inline uh, view query i'm saying uh, select e name department number then the row num analytical function set it over order by the row id then i'm giving an alias for this complete uh, row num over uh, order by row id i'm giving and the entire the query is given an alias as x where this x dot rn should be equal to 2 let me execute this sorry um haven't given the from here i need to give the from which table right so from employee table now let me execute it can see the second employee is getting executed let me select see the original employee table yeah you can see that alan alan is what the second uh, employee of our employee table that's what is getting executed so this this how you need to use your analytical function in order to you know fetch the second record or the second employee of each department you can do it on based on the department also uh, for department you just need to alter this query i'll just show you how it is so we have already seen the how to fetch the second employee of a table we'll fetch the second employee of uh, no uh, based on each department you just need to alter uh, saying that uh, instead of you, you have given it as uh, this order uh, over clause uh, before this order by just say partition by department number and then same the you no know, order by row id the same thing just copy paste there you can see that based on the department for the 10 department the second employee name is king and for the 20 department it's jones and what based on the department it is um, you know it's fetching the record second record so this is how you can use your um, um, what the analytical function so there are some more analytical functions like rank dense rank and all we'll see how we can make use of those things in the next um, tutorial hope this was helpful for you uh, if there are any queries uh, the technical queries then please do mail me to plhkill.informatica at gmail.com and thank you very much for watching